Welcome to DLab. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to a new DLab product called the IOTech. This is a little bench test box made to verify the serviceability of unique control modules. Let me show you what this thing does. So here it is, the DLab IOTech. Now, why do I call it the IOTech? Is because this little box is designed to sit on a bench and assist a technician in checking the inputs and outputs of unique control boards. This IOTech is specifically designed to test these type modules, which go in Legacy National Instruments SCC control boxes. Okay, so that's why it has this connector. You take your module. You simply plug him in to this connector and your test begins. So here's a module that's exposed so you can see all the components. You simply plug it in. You can see this light comes on and that light is telling you that it sees the module. Now this light is also an indicator for an input that comes into the module. So here would be your interface, let's say, to your tester. And this tester has a high current output, which is either driven by a square wave generator or a pulse width modulation signal. And then it also has feedback, which is a 12 volt pulse, let's say, coming from a speed sensor. So to simulate that, if I flip this switch, this would be like the signal coming back from the unit under test on your test stand. Okay, so that is seeing that signal that tells you that these chips say, hey, I see that signal and I'm retransmitting it and you see it with the LED. All right. Now this switch here produces pulse width modulation. In this case we're simulating that with a push button. So this load that's inside here which is an incandescent bulb would represent the product drawing current. So that was a test of a good module. Now here is a defective module. All right. So I'm going to plug it in. So here it is on your tester. You have a defective module that's not working. Can the IO tech catch it? All right, and I'm going to plug it in. You see nothing happens. There's no light. But if you look at your power supply, watch when I unplug it. You see how the voltage is dropping? It's because the power supply is going into current limit mode because there's obviously a short on this module. So when you use this IO tech, you have to use a current limited power supply all right don't hook this thing up to a car battery or you're gonna have a ball of smoke coming out of your little module so let's say you want to be a little bit fancier with your testing so you say well I want to inject a square wave and look at the output of my module to make sure I have a clean signal all right so there's a scope here I am toggling the signal you can see she looks clean but that's just a switch all right so now I could take a pulse generator and observe the square wave. Now this pulse coming in here is actually a 10 volt signal. And this thing is isolated and it reduces that to a 0 to 5 for your digital inputs. So just as we did with the input, you can also do it with your output. I told you this would simulate pulse width modulation, right? You can also take your same generator and put it into that jack and now you have a toggling output going to your device which is rather unique because what you could do if you wanted you could use this little bench test model hook up your product here right on the bench and control it without having to have it on your multi-million dollar tester so yes this video is serving two purposes for DLab first obviously is it's a demonstration of this unique IO tech that I'm building for a company. Secondly, it's to show that D-Lab does other things besides tube amps, okay? I also make little gizmos like this. So if you have interest in a device like this to help with your process and make your technicians happy, I'd be glad to build one for you. I just need to know your inputs and outputs and what you expect this little guy to do. Hope you enjoyed the video.